Today we're going to walk you through how to install Git on your PC or your Mac. Git is a free and open source version control system made for use with small projects up to very large projects. It's good to know how to use Git because a lot of companies use it, whether they're a small development shop or a large enterprise. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are on my Windows 10 machine and we're going to go ahead and open up the browser and uh, install Git. So here we go. So go to your favorite search engine and just do a search for Git. It should be the very first site that comes up. It should say Git official site. So uh, and also you'll see, you know, again, what we talked about earlier, Git is a free and open source uh, version control system for your work. So go ahead and click the link to visit the site. And it's pretty straightforward. You can read more about it. But depending on the type of machine you visit it from, you could just click the link, download for Windows, and automatically it should download. Really, depending on your internet connection, it should take no longer than a few seconds to a minute go ahead and run the file once it's done downloading and just as we go through the process just hit next on the first few screens and then here I like to have a link uh, on the desktop to this it'll make things easier and what we're doing in the future so go ahead and uh, choose on the desktop as an option and hit next Okay, and by default, we're going to put it in the Git folder. Now, this is important here. I'm going to choose the second option, use Git from the Windows command prompt, and this will allow us to use all the tools that Git has without opening a Git-specific command prompt. We'll talk more about that later, but that's an important option to choose. And then the lastly, we want to leave the default for the style of check-in. So you can leave that default and hit Next. Once you do that, it should take uh, about a minute or so to copy over all the files and, and get everything installed. So we're going to let that happen real quick. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck the view release notes and we're going to finish. So once it's done downloading, uh, if you want to learn more about Git, there's a ton of great information on the website. Um, specifically, you can go up to the top left and click on documentation, walks you through a bunch of uh, more, you know, the basics, you know, more advanced options. Really cool thing they have on the website is the GitHub cheat sheet. So if you go ahead and click on that, uh, this is a cheat sheet which we're going to reference later on in, in future lessons, but basically it shows you all the main functions of Git. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and close my browser. And we're going to just double check to make sure Git installed properly. So you'll see there's a new link on my desktop, Git Bash. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And really from this tool, we're able to access all the functions of Git. So if I just go ahead and type in GIT for Git, you see it gives me all the different options. I can type Git help at any time. In addition, I can open up my regular command prompt and also type Git. And you'll see I get all the same type of uh, options as well it's just it's not color coded that's the only difference so so yeah now that git is successfully installed we're going to go ahead and show you how to get it installed on a mac okay so here we are on my mac we're going to go ahead and install git it's just like on the pc it's very simple so let's get started so i'm going to open up safari same thing, I'm going to do a search for Git. Very first link that comes up, let's go ahead and click that link. In this case, you'll notice that it automatically detected that we are on a Mac. We can scroll down and click on the download for Mac link, and it will take us over to the page to download. Now, the difference between the PC and the Mac, I don't know why, but on my machine, it didn't automatically download. So I actually had to click the little link up top that says click here to download manually. Once I clicked that link, it brought me over to another page where it automatically started downloading. So we're going to go ahead and let it start downloading. 
And again, this is a very small download, so it should only take, you know, a few seconds to a minute. So our download's done, so we're going to click on our downloads. We're going to open up the finder, and there you'll see the file that was downloaded. So we're going to go ahead and double click on this file. OSX is automatically going to mount the volume and open it up. And you'll see that this file actually contains a few more files inside of it. So this contains all the install files as well as an instruction file that tells us what to do. So I'm going to open the file, readme.txt. It has information on what we need to do. So simply, we're going to double click on the Git 250 Intel Universal Package. You will get a warning. You can go ahead and hit OK on the warning. And then it's a standard installation just like any other OSX software. So you're just going to hit continue and then hit install. It will ask you or prompt you for your administrator password. So go ahead and put your password in and hit install software. The installation is very quick and there we go. So the main part is done. So now what we need to do is we need to add the shortcut to let us use git from terminal. So terminal is the command line only for Mac. It lets us type commands in for your Mac to do. So to open terminal, we go over to spotlight and we simply type in terminal. It's going to open up and you'll see if I try to run git, Terminal or OS X is asking me to install Xcode. We don't want to do that. So we're going to click not now and we're going to go back to our terminal and we are going to type in that command that you see there as part of step two. Now, depending on the way your machine is set up, it may ask you to enter in your password after you type the command. In this case, it did not. So if it does ask you to type the password, go ahead and type it in. So now you will see that after I type in git, the git command comes up showing me help and that I can now use git from terminal. So that's it. We are now set up to use git on your Mac and we can move forward in developing your first website.